precisely on Rock of Love. There is a lot of girls in this house. The sweet and innocent ones, the earthy ones, and of course the hot sex kittens. Brett is absolutely everything that I've ever wanted. You're sexy, you sing, it's a win-win. Win-win-win-win. <laughs> I really don't care about the girls right now. I only care about myself. Am I all alone over here? She's being selfish. Wait, okay. don't be selfish. No. Christy Joe just hogs him up, and I didn't get to spend any time with Brad. Everybody resents me. My heart says keep her. My head says let her go. Ina, would you come down here, please? You got to come back in the game because I'm sort of losing you a little bit. I'm gonna try to get that connection back with Brad. Waking up this morning, I'm a little bummed out, and I feel like Brett and I are losing that connection that we had before. I just think I'm sort of losing you a little bit, and I just need you to come back. It's getting hard for me, because I know this is serious, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Good morning. Ah, the innocence of the morning. Birds chirping, sun rising, frogs burping, when suddenly my girl Ina makes an appearance at the pool. Hey, what's on your mind? Tell me. I've just, I've never been in a situation where, like, you like someone and you think that they like you back. And then you, like, get to watch them make a connection with other people. I, I completely sympathize with how you feel. And at the same time, if I don't at least attempt to get to know right. some of the other people a little bit. I know. Ina was my girl right off the bat. She had a great energy, great attitude, and she was there to party and have fun. But recently, Ina's kind of been dropping away on me. Now my feelings are getting involved. In I get it, totally. I just need you, I really like you, and I just need you to let me know. You don't have to, I don't need a parade. You don't need a sign out in front of my window. <laughs> I'm gonna stand I'm gonna, by your balcony with a it. sign. I like you, Brett. To me, Ina is a beautiful girl, but right now I need her to step up to the plate and take a swing. Good morning, ladies. Can I get everyone in the living room, please? I have a note here from Brett. Today's gonna be very special. You guys read that, and we'll see you in a bit. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Good morning, ladies. You've shown me how much you care. Competing hard and playing fair. Now it's time for red, white, and blue, a patriotic dream come true. Get yourselves pretty and meet me in the Grand Hall in an hour. Oh, okay. I have no clue what today's challenge is. Whatever it is, I'm there. I want to win. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello, girls. We walk into the living room, and we see two older women. And I see some hula hoops, puppets, a drum. I have no idea what's going on. Ladies, as you know by now, Big John and myself, huge, huge supporters of our troops, just got back from a tour of Iraq where we got to play for all of our men and women, which is an honor for me. Well, today, we're going to introduce you to two of my friends, Shirley Claire and Joan Arlene. They've been performing for our troops for over 50 years. Today, what they're gonna help you do is help put together your very own patriotic show, which tonight you will be performing in front of a huge live audience of veterans and active service personnel. So today's challenge is very simple. Prepare to put in a USO performance, and I mean real deal. I want some talent going on. There is going to be three acts. There'll be duo and one solo act. So six of you are gonna find each other and pair up into teams of two, and one of you will be on your very own. And you've all got one hour to get ready to bring on your finest talent. Whoever wins this will be going out on a date with me. All right, so once you get together with the ladies, I'm going to get out of here, and I will see you all over there. It's going to be fantastic. So come up, hang out with the ladies, and work out what you want to do. I really want to hear yeah. I immediately thought that when I needed a teammate, Jessica should be the one. And I think that hula hooping will be really cute, so I'm excited about the whole thing. And who's going to be the singer? You're going to be the singer. Yes. And with I don't care what I have to do. I don't care if I have to jump through fire. I want the solo act. It's I, I want a solo date. Singing the Star Single Banner solo. Okay, I've got my singer, Joan. Uh, do you dance it all? Yeah, I like yeah. dance. One, two, three. One, two, three. Step back, back. I don't think I want to do the solo, so. 
I pair up with Destiny, and we just decided to go with dancing. In, over, down. I'm feeling a little stressed out because I don't know what my act's gonna be. Um, I know the girls don't wanna work with me because nobody likes me. But then Amber and I are getting along really well. We just jive well. I can do a comedy routine and like talk to her as she's tap dancing, and then she kind of like does her little stuff for him. Can we do that? Sure. And, and then, then yeah. whatever okay. you want. Well then, oh, cool. I thought. We'll make it funny. We'll make it cute. I am so confident that Amber and I are just gonna rock the joint. We're cute, we're classy, and we're just gonna have fun. No more cowboy hat. Christy Joe offers to do the tap routine with me. I may have my issues with Christy Joe, but you know what? I'm gonna work together with her and we're gonna win this. Together, we should say we the people, and we should say United States of America together. Me and Jessica practiced the hooping, we designed our outfits, and we came up with a cute little thing to do. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, to promote general welfare and secure blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Megan and I recite to hula hoop and recite the preamble to the Constitution of liberty and posterity. No, of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. What does that mean? Megan doesn't even know how to say some of the words in the preamble, and I'm a little worried. For ourselves and our posterity. Posterity? I had some trouble remembering words, the preamble, especially because I had never heard of the words before. So I wasn't just learning the preamble, I was learning new words. Establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. You the name is America. One, two, three, and one, two, three. We have an hour to learn our routine. Head up, smile. Look to the right and look to the left. Twist, twist. What? Twist, We're doing the twist. twist. Two, three, four. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't carry on. Head up. Joan Arlene keeps yelling at us because Ina's laughing and not even trying to do it right. <laughs> It's very frustrating, but I'm doing the best I can. Get with it and stop giggling. It is a little frustrating when she thinks in an hour we could be professional dancers. You know what would be cute is like you totally like show me up, like, D -d 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 -d, like tap dancer on me, and I'm like. <laughs> I thought it'd be cute to make it look like she's my teacher and we do kind of like a dual tap, you know, performance and make it really cute and fun. Whose broad strides and right stars. Yes, yes, yes. I'm getting the solo act. Like, this is working out great. This could be beautiful. And the rock is That's pretty hard. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five you minutes. gotta go. Yeah. Go, go, go. Nice. Five minutes. Come on, girls. Let's go. Put your fishnets on. So the time is up. I'm most nervous that I'm not gonna be able to remember these words, but I think Jessica and I have a really good chance at winning this because we look so cute. Hey girls, come on, move it. Your fans so way cute. My mission is just to kick ass and show him that I really care because I think this might be the last chance to reconnect with Brett and I'm gonna try to do that. Up. Last minute, Destiny and I decide to do it our way. Oh my god, it's a total strip tease. What are they doing? This is for the vets. And later. You guys can all say what you want to say, but I can't really. You respond. always say what you want to say. Do you want to f get through or not? Does it start with God bless America or is there an intro? Just before you go on focus, remember what you're gonna do. I am a huge supporter of our troops and I definitely need a woman who supports that. So today's challenge is simple. Put in a USO performance in front of true American veterans. Oh, well, isn't this nice? Yeah, isn't this we start getting ready, we're all getting hyped up. We have all these cute outfits, we're getting our hair and makeup done and I'm just so pumped up. We get to rehearsal to the stage and we were wearing our heels and suddenly our act fell apart. <laughs> You're turning my skirt. <laughs> we're doing pretty good at first. As soon as we start kicking, down we go. I think you still should hold hands or something in we the We can't. Camp. Or we keep you, falling you over, you know what I mean? Because she's shorter than me. We're falling over without holding, too. I know, but it's a lot better, you know what I mean? That by, in your opinion. Wow. But all it's, right. that's all Thanks. right, it's your act, honey. Well, you, you don't have to be mean it. about it. You don't have to be 
rude. Joan keeps sitting and blabbing and running her mouth, and it's really starting to get to me. She pisses me off, dude. I'm gonna slap her. She makes me mad. These women have worked really hard to help us and to make us better, and it's just, it's not cool to disrespect them like that. Thanks. OK, ladies. Everybody on stage. Going into this, I feel like Ina isn't ready, so hopefully I can come through, but I don't know. We'll see. One. OK. One. Okay. Okay. One. Promote General Walker. Secure blessings of liberty. These are veterans out here. Please listen to me. One makes a mistake if one faints next to you. Just don't step on her. But I mean, continue. I'm going to be quite honest. I was very nervous because I wanted the girls to really, really put on a great show for our troops. So this really, really meant a lot to me. We're about to go on stage. My heart's pounding. I'm just incredibly nervous right now. And Brett's in the front row. Welcome to the Brett Michaels Rockin' USO-ish style show. Starring Brett Michaels. With performances by... Stars and Taps, Hula Hoops for Our Troops, The Rock of Love Rockets, and Daisy as Daisy. Now welcome your host, Bill Dwyer. It's an honor to be here. I salute each and every one of you who have proudly served our country out here in our audience. It's a big night, everybody. Brad is trying to find true love, and what better way to find true love than through a cable television series, of course. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're here tonight. You're very, uh, you're very important to uh, not just to me and to Brett tonight, but to the girls because you're gonna decide who wins this challenge tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I am totally getting nervous. Christy, Joe, and I are the first ones, so it's up to us to set the bar, and I am bound and determined to set it high. Kicking off the show, ladies and gentlemen, Amber and Christy, Joe, but you know them better as Stars and Taps. <laughs> Watching Amber and Christy Joe tap dance was quite interesting. Amber, fantastic. Christy Joe, it was like watching a monkey on crack. I thought Amber was really good at the tap dancing, so I was worried that I'm not gonna be able to remember these words. Our next act, ladies and gentlemen, you may know them as Megan and Jessica, but tonight they are hula hoops for our troops. Holy crap, Megan and Jessica are stripping. The audience right now is loving it. <laughs> we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, promote justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, and promote the general welfare and <laughs> secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and for our posterity. How hard can the hula hooping really be? I mean, come on. I definitely can do a better job than that. For the United States of America. Ah, the patriotism that was going on in that room. The general and I, we salute you. Megan and Jessica, everybody. Hula hoops for our troops. Watch what they do with the 19th Amendment. I'm telling you, everybody. <laughs> Our next act is a spectacular one, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting a little bit of stage fright. I can't believe we're about to go on for real. I'm <laughs> my pants right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Ina and Destiny, the Rock of Love Rockets. <laughs> between Megan and my strip show 
and Destiny and Ina. There's a classy way to do something and there's a trashy way to do something. Keep it going, everybody. That's why we fight. Where's the pole? We do have a pole. It has our flag on it, though, and really, we don't want to start screwing around with that. The veterans that I'm setting with, these guys have seen some really horrific things before, but watching Destiny and Ina may be one of the most horrific things they've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, our final act to sing our national anthem. Please, a nice round of applause for Daisy. I'm really nervous to perform in front of people. My only saving grace is that after following that strip act, maybe like I'll look good. Oh, oh say can you see by the dawn's early light? So proudly we hailed by the twilight's last big issues with Daisy's performance. One, she's tone deaf, and two, she doesn't know the words to the national anthem. of myself that I never sang in public and not to mention I never sung the Star Spangled Banner before. All I know is that I rocked. Let's bring out all the girls right now. Girls, come on out. Now it's time for you to decide who's going to win this challenge, everybody. For this challenge, I'm not going to pick the winner. I'm going to let all the vets decide right here and right now who is going to be the winner. By your applause, please vote as to who you think deserves to win this challenge. My heart is beating a mile of minute, and I want to date with Brett, and I'm just hoping that we get the claps and applause that we so desperately want. Ladies, you all did such a great job. It's really important for me to win this challenge today because I just need some time to spend with Brett and talk a little more. Coming up. You keep me from- I don't keep you! Chrissy Joe feels that she doesn't have to explain herself to anybody. Be straight up with Brett. That's all I ask. Are you here for me or not? Then later, I'm going to just cut right into it because I am emotionally and physically spent. Last night, I spoke my mind, and I feel like that definitely hurt my chances. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for you to decide who's going to win this challenge. The performance is at an end. We've all performed, and we're going to find out who won. And it's based on a clapometer. So I'm thinking, you know what? Me and Amber are good to go. We're going to win this. By your applause, please vote as to who you think deserves to win this challenge. Is it Daisy? Woo! Is it the Rock of Love Rockets? Ooh. Is it Hula Hoops for our troops? Ooh. Is it Stars and Taps? Ooh. By your applause, by your noise, the winner of tonight's challenge is Hula hoops for our truth. <laughs> Going on a date with Brett, Megan, and Jessica. We rocked this contest. It was awesome. Got another date. I'm ready to go. Get me my man. Thank you, everyone, for coming out and supporting us and helping Brett choose his true love. was so, so happy with the girls. They had done an awesome job. So I wanted to whip them up a beautiful dinner. I set the table. I'm ready to have a celebration. Oh, my winners, my fine, finally. <laughs>
Thank you all very much. You look beautiful. I'm going to be your host tonight. Tonight, we're just all going to hang and have fun. All right, good night tonight. Tonight's a party night. The idea of all of us sitting down together for dinner with Brett sounds awesome. Brett's so sweet. <laughs> Woo! Okay, cheers. cheers. All right, so talk amongst ourselves. You ready? Give us a talk. Go. Who do you think is here for the right reasons? Who do you think is here for the wrong reasons? Daisy, what do you think? I have gotten closest to Destiny, and as far as I can tell, she's here for the right reason. Gotcha. Hmm. We're still holding back. Unleash it. Unleash, Unleash it. Well, since I have been here, I've mostly spent my time with Jessica because I think she's such a nice, honest, innocent person. I really don't know anybody else as well as I know her, but I don't know anything definite and I don't want to say anything. Gotcha. Now that is doing absolutely nothing for me. Ina, I'm going to go with you. Okay. Since you seem boisterous, you going to let unleash or you going to hold back? You know what? I really didn't get a chance to hang out with, like, all the girls. I don't know anything else about anyone else. Gotcha. For God's sakes, Ina told me nothing. All the other girls told me nothing. I just want a little bit of info. I, I, listen, the problem is, is I, I've gotten generica to here. Like it's, I've, I'm done with generica. Now I need to know who, what, why. We got to stop kidding around about where we're at. You know what I'm saying, Amber? Um. Oh God. I'm sweating. I just have a feeling about one person. And I feel like everybody's being nice here, and I just need to be honest. And I'm not one to throw someone under the bus. It's not me. It's not my personality. But I'm about to say some truth, all right? Say it. Oh, my god. When Amber stood up, I didn't know who she was going to point out. I was nervous. But there's just one person that I feel puts on a facade at times. And I don't know what the reason is, but it upsets me when I see it. Right. OK? Amber's never been anything but totally open and honest, so this is Totally a big deal. But, Chris Joe, I just don't think that. I think at times you say things and I can see right through it. I think you're real at times and I see that realness, but at other times I don't see it. And I'll tell you the reasons why. First of all, when you claim to be leaving, and I know she talked to you about it and you talked her out of it, but it was a big to do. Another one was, um, you talk about your, your ex-husband and everything so much, and you talk about it with passion, I don't think you're over it. I think you've got a good heart, but I don't think you're ready for it. And by God, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. And I am just like, what? Out of all the people that were throwing me under the bus, I did not expect Amber, and I was just appalled. Your view of me doesn't matter. Your opinions to me don't matter. Your opinion does. Right. I've told Brett several times, if you're not into it, you can let me go. You throw the question back at me a lot, and I, I, have I not openly said here that I'm attracted to you and I like you? Saying it doesn't matter to her either way. Either you keep her or you don't. She's fine. She no, that's not what I said. You keep saying, what do I think lets you go? You've pushed from day one to let everyone know you're here and that you're going. And I'm, I'm confused. If you're not feeling me, let me know. See, she doesn't even care. There's no emotion. What about you? There's How no, like, do you feel? That's I what we're really trying to get out of you, Chrissy Joe. I... You won't say anything, dude. Because it's, like it's, not, really it's not between nothing. you guys. He knows how I feel. But we're all sitting here at dinner together. We're all sharing our feelings, and you're the only one that's not saying Why? Why is because that? Because the only one Why? I care about is how I feel. It. it angers me that Chrissy Joe feels that she doesn't have to explain herself to anybody. We've been you're trying right. to ask you what the f you're feeling, no and answer. you don't want to say it. Still no answer. Still nothing. Come on, hello. It pisses me off that Destiny's making these accusations, because what the f does she know? And I was just like, ugh, shut up, skank, you're stupid. And you guys can all say what you, can, you want to say, but I can't respond. You respect. always say what you want to say, dude. Hey. Always. You always do. Do you want an answer or for me? Do you want an answer or not? Yeah, we've been doing it. He's asking you questions and you still will not answer him. Why? Why? I don't feel that I have to answer it to them. I'm not here for them. I understand you're not here for them, but here's what I'm saying to you. Are you here for me or not? Because at this point, I can't tell you that I buy it. If Christy Joe or any of these other girls are fake and here for the wrong reasons, I will find them out and they will go home.
you're wasting your time, and you're wasting their time, and you're wasting yeah, my time. Not, I, not, I, not wait, 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 wait. Off. That includes all of you. I mean, anybody. You guys have a good night, and I'm leaving at that. That's it. All right? God bless you. At this point, I'm pissed. I don't want to be left alone. I hope that Brett sees that my anger towards Chrissy Joe was only because I care about him, and that's why I got so upset. So I go back up to my room and I start packing because I feel like Brett's done with me, you know what I mean? Like all these girls are telling him how awful I am and how I'm not here for him and they're really getting into his head and I just don't know how he feels anymore. I felt like this is a nightmare or something. Like so that's what everybody wanted to say. Yeah, you said Amber. That. I felt like he's mad at me for No, he's not mad at you. He wanted somebody to be honest like, yeah. and you're the closest because you're right there in the room with her. I am completely distraught. I'm thinking I've betrayed her, and Brett's gonna think bad of me because I went off on my roommate. Wow. I've made Brett mad, and I feel like I up. After I took some extra time to chill a little bit, I wanted to go find Christy Joe and talk to her about all the that's going on. Hello? What are you doing, packing your I can't sit here and be fed to the wolves every day and be attacked every Day, they do it every day. I just started bawling and I just wanted to hug him. Hey, come on. It's frustrating to have so many people trying to with both of us. I don't want to sit up here and talk because they're going to listen to us, so I want to go in my room and talk. I love crazy girls, but this one, this one may be a little too crazy for me. She is a dramatic roller coaster ride. Here's the problem that they have that I have. Everything you say to me from the word go is about exiting. It's always about I'm going. What happens is you confuse the out of them and you confuse the out of me. I'm trying to be strong, it's just so hard. I'm competing with seven girls or whatever for your affection and your feelings and I don't even know where I stand with you. So of course I'm not gonna play it all out there. I'm sorry, I'm not completely open, but I need to be able to trust you too. She wants to know if I really want her here or want her to go. Problem is, I don't know her at all. I'm just hoping, as, as attractive as I am to you right now, it's just not the wrong place at the wrong time for us. I'm scared that I'm actually gonna lose him because people can't stay out of the way of the both of us. I'm feeling very confused and really unsure of where any of this is going or if I'm even staying in this house. Coming up. I love my shirt. Everything is perfect. Megan and Jessica are looking hot. They are Ed Hardy designed and looking fine. Me like that later. I'm gonna just cut right into it because I am emotionally and physically spent. Last night I spoke my mind and I feel like that definitely hurt my chances. It's gonna be an awesome day. I have another date with Brett. It's my second in a row. We're ready. We are ready. Awesome, I think you're gonna like it. I'm really looking forward to just unwind with him and get away from the drama of the house. I'm completely sick to my stomach. Not even knowing what's going on with Brett, what's going on in the house. So I'm just bummed out. How are you? I don't know what to say. You know? I have nothing to say to that chick ever again. I think I'm gonna talk to her today. I can't, I can't do it. But I understand your position here. Christy Joe and I share a room. So I don't have a choice. I have to clear things up with her. She's my roommate. It's too awkward. Hello, Adam. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how you doing? This is Megan. Hi. Megan, Adam Sachs. Nice Adam Sachs, you. and this is Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Now, Pleasure. Adam runs all of the custom design here at Ed Hardy, all right? We're yeah. gonna take you around the store and grab whatever you like, and then I'm gonna do a custom cutting on your body and make this couture piece of artwork for you in a matter of minutes. <laughs> so let's shop. This is very oh, overwhelming. I've never had somebody, like, take me on a date and say, oh, pick out an outfit. Jessica was like, oh my god, this is so amazing. I'm overwhelmed. I've never been bought anything before. Completely pathetic. So 
So awesome. what we're gonna do is pick out a color for you of shirt. We are brought over to Adam. His work is badass, and I can't wait to have an original. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. That's gorgeous. You're so welcome. I love my shirt. It was my favorite color. Everything was perfect. Adam, you are a god. Thank you. Uh, You're thank my you hero. So thank you. Thank you very much. Amazing putting on these two beautiful you know, ladies. Yes. Megan and Jessica are looking hot. They are Ed Hardy designed and looking fine. sit down and talk. She is my roommate. So I feel like I need to clear things up with Chrissy Joe. This is bothering me, and I know you have other things bothering you. I do too, but I can't stand the fact that we haven't talked about it. We live in the same room. We can't ignore it and make it go away. I could really care less if she needs to hammer it out. She feels guilty, good for her. I can't take it back. I wish I could. I should have talked to you and then talk to him whatever feelings I have. I did it and I'm sorry. B bottom line, from now on, I promise you, if I ever have a problem, I'll always, always come to you. I've always been that way. I'll always do it in the future. Thank you. Making up with Amber is not a priority for me at all. I really could care less whether or not we're friends. All right, so we're cool for now until we can? Yeah. OK. great because it was really fun to shop, but there wasn't enough quality time with Brett. And now that we're having lunch, we get to actually sit down and talk to Brett some more. I had a blast last night, though, doing that show. Oh, I did. Yeah. It was really fun, actually. I knew you were going to win, because they loved oh, you. you did. I already knew. It was funny, because you could totally see everybody's personalities in those shows. Mm -hmm. I mean, but there was actually, like, a big situation with Lena. There. Yeah. Why? What's the what's the goings on with her? Because you I, were there, Joan. She was a tough cookie, but she, was she tough, it was because it was her livelihood, and I understood that. Joan, she right. really believes in the cause. I just know that like Ina yelled at her or got upset. She ran in the back. Ina flipped out on her. I was a little disappointed to find out that my girl Ina was really, really yelling at my girl Joan, who's one of the experts from the USO. I didn't like hearing this. That's very disrespectful. And what, did they ever say what the problem I guess, was? Or? Well, I know she was very opinionated. I understand that she was stressed, and it was hard for all of us, but at the same time, you can't disrespect someone who, this is their livelihood, yeah. and they're here to help us. You know, she came on so strong at the beginning, and I can't put my finger on her now. I've completely lost her somewhere in the mix. There was a couple of those situations still left in the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I need to address, you know? Yeah. I'm glad that Brett knows what happened with Ina and the old ladies, because I don't like Ina. <laughs> Take it in the car. Well, here's the deal. I've got everything from everybody, from every which direction, and every story that my brain can handle. I now need to shut down. I need to go into my room, be alone, because someone's going home tonight. I need to think this one over. This is going to be a tough elimination. Up. I'm gonna just cut right into it because I am emotionally and physically spent. I don't know how much more I could have tried, and if he wants to send me home, then that's his choice. With all of last night's drama at the dinner table, I feel like Brett might be a little upset with me, but I really hope that Christy Joe goes home. She just doesn't deserve to be here. I don't feel like Brett and I had enough time to connect in the past few days because he's been on dates with everyone else. So I'm a little nervous that I didn't get to spend that much time with him lately. I'm not feeling confident tonight because of last night and the big blowout. And I spoke my mind. I feel like last night definitely hurt my chances. Hello. I just want to tell you all, first of all, you look absolutely stunningly beautiful tonight. After the last few days and all the tension and all the craziness, this is going to be a tough elimination. I've openly told everybody this. It just gets tougher and tougher for me. So here we are. And tonight, I'm going to just cut right into it because I am emotionally and physically spent. So 
John, here we go. This is someone who I want to stay in this house because I, I, I want a great relationship with no drama, but I also want no mediocrity in my life. So, Amber, would you come down here, please? I cannot believe I got the first pass, especially after last night. But wow, it feels great. Would you stay here in this house? <laughs> I'm already shaking my head. <laughs> <laughs> would you stay here in this house and continue to rock my world? Absolutely. Awesome. At this point, I don't trust Amber, and I just feel totally betrayed. And I just, I can't even look at her. This next girl, very, very simple for me. I know that this girl is in this house for me. I think she is a very beautiful girl. I also like the way she dresses. That's very sexy. I know she's here and fighting for me. So Destiny, would you come down here, please? Would you continue to stay here, looking beautiful, <laughs> and uh, continue to rock my world? 100%. Awesome. When Brett says to me that he knows that I'm here for him and that I'm fighting for him, that made me feel really good inside and that made me feel a lot more secure about our relationship. If I don't get a pass tonight, I'm just going to be just devastated. John. Over the last couple days and the last couple dates, I've really got to know this person. Jessica, would you step down here, please? I am so happy that I just got my pass. I felt that I should get that pass, and I can't wait for another date with Brett. This is someone who today really had an amazing date and a lot of fun. Megan, would you come down here, please? stay here and rock my world. I would love to. Awesome. I'm so relieved that I finally got my pass and Brett tells me what a great day he had with me. Right now, I'm hoping that that passes for me, but I'm just a little worried because Brett and I haven't been that close lately. This next girl that I'd like to keep in the house, I am going to take full responsibility for not spending time in the last few days with a lot of things going on in my head and my mind, and I feel that it has been my responsibility for not taking the time to get to speak to them and hang out with them more. So Daisy, would you come down here, please? It felt like I was up there for a hundred million years. Would you continue to stay here and rock my world? Forever. Awesome. There's no doubt in my mind, I want to stay with him forever. There's one pass left, it's Ina and Christy Joe, and I'm really thinking at this point that what I said last night really hit home with Brett, and Christy Joe's going home. I just hope he figures out what he wants, and I hope he makes the right decision, because I'm just freaking out. I'm down in the bottom two again. I don't know how much more I can take. I feel like a yo-yo. Here's my situation I've left. I have two absolutely beautiful girls here, and I have one pass left. All right, here's my situation. I have one pass left, two stunning girls. Brett has one pass left, and it's down to me and Christy Jo. I'm hoping that that passes for me, but I'm just a little worried because Brett and I haven't been that close lately. This decision um, at no point came easy to me. I just can't even look at Brett. I don't know how much more I could have tried, and if he wants to send me home, then that's his choice. I'm not gonna waste any more time. I know that both of these people have asked me if they felt that it was not gonna work or I felt at any point emotionally disattached. So, Ina, would you come down, please? Thank God Brett is keeping Ina. Yay! So long, Chrissy Joe. See ya. Ina, you know how physically attracted I am to you, but I was just really bummed 
because I really like you a lot. I felt so close to you at the beginning. I just didn't get to know you as much as I got to know some of the other girls. So your tour ends here. It's okay. In the end, I had to let my girl Ina go. I loved her, and in the beginning, she was right there for me. But somewhere along the line, emotionally, Ina checked out on me. And besides that, she was rude to my guest, Joan, and that's disrespectful. Hello, goodbye. She wants to stay, she wants to fly. I'm sad because I met a great guy and it didn't work out. You know? In the beginning, Brett and I had a strong connection, but towards the end, it just started fading. It was my time to go. What the hell? I don't know what it is he likes about her. I just wish that skank would leave. Christy Joe, before you come down here, I just want to say I know there is a obvious amount of tension in this house. I think we have gotten further ahead. You're putting your heart out there a little bit on your sleeve and let me know where you're really coming from. I just hope at this point it's not too little too late. But for now, I'd like you to come down here. Do you want to stay here in this house with me and try to continue to rock my world? I'm trying. I know. But do yes or no? Yes. You do. So, Ina goes home and Christian just stays. And I am completely baffled and confused right now. She's really good at manipulating people's feelings and I think she got too much. Girls, come on down. For right now, I feel good that I got a pass, but it still doesn't resolve any of our issues. And I mean, I'm fine for now, but what about tomorrow or the next elimination? Everyone here, Let's continue to rock this house, all right? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Next time. What you're gonna do is make two music videos. Hell yes. I love music. I love videos. Perfect. Now she's crawling to the camera. Before this, or? Yeah, there goes Daisy again. And I can't get a word in edgewise. This is not right. So are we going through with a divorce? I'm just ready to move on with my life. I think we oh. should. I just have a really strong connection with him. You couldn't wait and tell me this in person. Christy Joe, no! Here. Destiny, she needs someone to vent about. Didn't you have your bags packed? You, you know what the truth is? Someone. You are with everybody. You've been with Brett, and I'm sick of it. To promote. Okay. Be as loud okay. as I am. To promote oh, general welfare, <laughs> secure the blessings of liberty. Blessings of liberty. <laughs> what the is there? I'm to ourselves, I can't ensure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and, and our, our posterity. posterity. Do ordain this constitution for the United States of America.